intuitive tarot love this reading is going to be for virgo for august 30th to september 6th this will not resonate with everyone um if there's an extended version the link will be below um, and personal readings are coming soon the information will be in the description box when it is available okay let's get into the reading for virgo This is Virgo season, so let's see. Happy birthday to all the Virgos out there. We have freedom, music, one more card for Virgo. And trust with power in the background. <clears throat> so I feel like some of you are going through a change right now. And throughout this change, um, you might be seeking freedom. So some of you might be trying to get out of a situation. Um, you might feel stuck in a situation right now. Um, we have music here. So some of you definitely can be interested in music, involved with music. Music might be helping you get through this time. Um, but you're stronger than you believe. And so whatever it is that you're going through right now, um, the message here is to trust the process, trust that you're being guided in the right direction, trust that everything is happening for a reason, okay? And with freedom here, um, you are going to get to a place where you're not feeling stuck anymore. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands <clears throat> with the Magician. Clarify, Queen 
clarify the magician. Too many cards. Last one card to clarify the magician. One card. One more card. Okay, two cards came out. All right. <clears throat> So we have the moon in the background energy here. So um, whatever you're going through right now, um, it might be something unexpected. Um, you might be confused at this moment about what decisions you need to make. We also have the nine of wands. So whatever is going on is causing you to put up a block and emotionally, you're thinking about walking away from a situation that you might know that you have to walk away from. So this might be something that you know, um, ultimately, I have to walk away from this because there's only heartbreak here. Okay? So, yeah, from being with this person, there's only heartbreak. You're being left out in the cold. So this situation, I feel like, um, you have been with someone and um, you, something happened, something changed, or it's just time now. And you know that, you know, um, it might just be time to walk away. It might just be time to walk away because it's been nothing but heartache here. Um, and you know that you might just have to walk away here. Okay, let's see. So we have the King of Pentacles here, the Queen of Wands, and the Magician. So whatever the situation is right now with your partner that has um, been causing heartbreak to you and, and not been, you know, emotionally fulfilling, um, I feel like you could be committed or married to this person but um I want you to also realize that you play a major part in what the outcome of this situation has been if you have been in a partnership for a long time you have manifested the outcome and what I mean by that is um there might have been things that you have allowed to happen or there might have been things that you brushed off to the side and um you know if you're not changing something then you are accepting it and so there's some part of this situation that you have manifested um it could even be that you have been negative um and so the things that you constantly think about you know for example you could be thinking he's cheating on me he's cheating on me he's cheating on me and you know he or she and they might not be but that constant negative um thinking can ruin things or it can even cause things to happen manifestation is is real and we have to be careful about you know how we think okay so i'm seeing the king of pentacles here so this person is someone that you have been committed to um, and they have emotionally fulfilled you, you know, we have the nine of cups, the 10 of cups and the ace of cups. So there's been a lot of love here. I feel like you just have always loved this person. And this person has made you very, very happy. Like you are really, really in love with this person. And everything has been you know great and i feel like this person has love for you as well this person has love for you as well so you guys definitely um might be living together married with children possibly and you know this this um relationship and this situation whatever you guys have built together has made you happy for a while you know, you've been really happy for a while in this situation. 
Then we have the Queen of Wands. Um, so I'm feeling that this is you here. And hmm. so now we have the Eight of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hang One. So right now I'm feeling like Virgo, um, and this could definitely be um, reversed because we have King of Pentacles here and you are an earth sign Virgo. So you might very well be the King of Pentacles here and um, in a stable situation. But someone here is thinking about um, changing things within this relationship. They are thinking about, you know, they're feeling like I have to worry about myself with the Queen of Wands here. They have to go with how they feel inside, you know, really feel. And they have to take action here. So someone is feeling like I have to make a change. And the change that I'm seeing here is a sacrifice. And with the Wheel of Fortune, um, I feel like it is time for a change as well. So we will clarify this um, a little bit in the extended. But yeah, someone's wanting a change here. Someone is wanting to change and they know that they will have to sacrifice something. So either, you know, someone in the partnership is still in love, but they're saying, you know what? Love is not enough because you are not giving me other things that I require in this partnership. Or someone is, is falling out of love and they're not in they're not feeling it anymore because of how things have been going. And they're realizing that this is something I'm going to have to let go of. So yeah, someone is definitely, um, I feel like they're actually taking action right now, you know, with all the eight of the queen of wands and the eight of wands. Um, someone could definitely be taking action right now to let go of this relationship. Let me see. The <clears throat> so so far we have Virgo we have Earth so we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn and we also have um, Aries. Leo Sag and Gemini Aquarius Libra. So you could be dealing with any of these people. Um, so on the future over here, we have the King of Swords. So Gemini Libra Aquarius, um, the Magician with the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Virgo, I feel like you're taking action here. And what you are manifesting now, or what, you're, what you want right now is to yeah, you want to change. And we have the King of Swords here, so I feel like with the tower moment here, then the change is coming. The change is coming and you might be ready to cut this person out of your life. Because we have a lot of conflict here with the five of wands. One more card to clarify the magician. <clears throat> clarify the magician. There's too many cards. Clarify the magician. <clears throat> clarify. clarify the magician <clears throat> now we have the queen of swords
So this could very well be someone else that caused the conflict in your relationship. I have the King of Swords with the Queen of Swords. So this person could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the person that you're dealing with could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But also, I feel like these two people right here definitely had a connection you know there's something between these two people because they're matching they are matching they are their energy is matching right now but it seems like they're in conflict so I don't know if that resonates with anyone out there but your partner could um, have dealt with someone else that caused conflict in your relationship or the other person that they dealt with they have a conflict with right now and that might be the tower moment. So the tower moment could be you you gaining, oh, yep, yep, okay, sorry. I've been playing around, this is clear. <laughs> so we have the Knight of Swords with the tower and then the King of Swords with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this is T. So what I'm seeing here is some information is coming to you about, you know, the information that's coming might just shake your world, ruin this whole relationship. But the information that's coming is about your partner and someone else. And there is some conflict here. There's some conflict between your partner and this person. But I also feel like there's a connection because they're king and queen. So either way, you are receiving some information here. And it is causing a major change in this relationship. It is causing like a big realization about something that your partner has been up to. Okay, so guys, I'm definitely getting into the extended here. Um, let's find out what is really going on. If you are interested, please join me. Thank you so much for a girl.